Frank Tour, welcome back to the university. Thank you, thank you for having me. You're a graduate uh, of the university and uh, what we're looking at behind you there, um, a picture uh, entitled Fallen, That's correct, yes. um, is something that you produced uh, when you were in your final year. That's correct. I painted Fallen in 2004 when I was a final year at the University of Huddersfield. Um, the fine art department or the fine art program was quite young at its time because I was actually the third year of that course it was a, because it was only really up and running in 1997 so it was relatively quite a young course back then and obviously the resources and facilities were limited but I think that was actually a blessing because it gave me the life skills and determination to paint mm -hmm. fallen because we don't have that much facilities or resources at your disposal, you need to make good at every single aspect, especially in the arts with paints, canvas, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. With this painting, it was more or less a triumph over the restrictions I had. But also I have to say that it was the quality of teaching that I received at the University of Huddersfield that allowed me to develop that style, and therefore, ergo, the painting behind me, Fallen. And uh, when people look at this painting, as they will do, it's uh, installed here now at the university, um, they'll see a lot of things in it, but, but what is actually behind it from the artist's point of view? What, what is Fallen? What was Fallen was actually painted uh, based on the fact that my mother had cancer in 2004. It was the foreman that she had, but we didn't know what stage it was. I actually only discovered that uh, before I came back to the University of Huddersfield because what happened was that I was at, well, during my sandwich year, the, the industrial placement year, and because my mother had cancer at that point, I wasn't too sure where it was going. I felt lost emotionally, and also because I was the only one who actually took the industrial placement year out of the whole course, and st still today I am the only one who's done that. <laughs> um, a lot of my original friends who were in the year with me were no longer here, so I was really much lost in some ways. So falling is more or less a fall from maybe a fall from normality or fall from grace in some ways. A kind of, uh, mel it's, a, it's a melancholic painting in the mm -hmm. end of the day. Uh, maybe there's a little spark of hope with the flames that most people see in the back of the painting, but yet there's this black void that's dominant. A sense of melancholy, or a sense of despair in some ways. If you can um, uh, give advice, you talked there um, about um, did you say placement? I did an industrial yeah. placement, yes. If you could give advice to um, uh, the students today uh, that uh, are, are doing the course, are uh, going to be graduating, what would that be? If I could give one advice, I would say that you will be graduating, congratulations, but your journey only really begins as an artist once you leave art school. You will need to devote everything to the mastery of your craft you spend the hours you will become an apprentice but that apprentice will be you maintain that you need to maintain that level of commitment and there's a possibility you may never ever achieve what you want to achieve but as the writer Yates have once said it's better to have tried something than have not done at all mm. and um, you, you were saying uh, you know it, it, uh, uh, life is a, a, a learning curve all, all the time. Um, the, and, and you try, you fail, etc. Is there one particular piece of work that you feel you've succeeded with? Is it fallen? or is it? Because I know, I, I know very well, uh, I, I followed your work, and I, I know you've <laughs> done lots of pieces. Is there, is there one particular uh, work, not, not just a, a particular painting, but a, a, a string of paintings that you think yeah, I was near the mark there. I enjoyed that and it, it touched I what think I wanted it to. If people ask me that question, I would say there are four paintings that actually fall in that category. Spectre, actually most beautiful, but those paintings are now owned by Sir Patrick Stewart, which I was quite lucky because he sensed I was there. And the other one are Fallen and a large abstract painting, which I did in my postgraduate, Icarus. For some reason, I felt those paintings were closer to the mark because I think I managed to touch something, not only emotionally, but conceptually at the same time. Intellectually, the feelings, everything that, all those elements combined into a singular force. And that, to me, is what art's about. If you combine all these things, you're more or less closer to the mark at that point. 
So I feel those four paintings are probably the most nearest I have been to, to that stage of my life or that stage of consciousness in the arts. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.